is up you guys i'll go back to another one if you were new to the channel i am gold penny as you new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2024 bmw x6 courtesy of apple bmw in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so today we are in this one because there is a slightly revised exterior you got more power for the 2024 model year as well and quite frankly, this is just a cooler looking X5. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing and so to start there are two different configurations for the 2024 x6 first one being the x drive 40i and the one we are in today starting at seventy three thousand nine hundred dollars and then there is the m60i going for ninety three thousand six hundred dollars and those are starting prices i want to emphasize that because there are a ton of options for this one our particular x6 is the x drive 40i but it does come in about 10 grand higher than that at right around eighty five thousand dollars but as you can imagine with those two different configurations there are two different power plants for the x6 as well first one belonging to the 40i trim of course that one is powered by a three liter turbocharged inline six cylinder with a new 48 volt hybrid system that one cranks out 375 horsepower at 5200 rpm 398 pound feet of torque coming in at right around 1800 rpm power sent to all four wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters and launch control zero to 60 time coming in at approximately five 5.2 seconds for this one that's plenty respectable there top speed if you're interested 155 miles per hour with mpg numbers coming in at 23 in the city 26 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel but so then there is that other engine configuration of course belonging to the m60i trim that one is a 4.4 liter turbocharged v8 and yes that is no longer the m50i i forgot to say that is now the m60i for 2024 but this one cranks out 523 Three horsepower at 5500 rpm 553 pound feet of torque coming in at 1800 rpm power sent to all four wheels yet again through an eight speed automatic zero to 60 time for this one 4.2 seconds yet again top speed 155 miles per hour with mpg numbers coming in at 17 in the city 22 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test here in the x6 wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes there's some buttons located kind of just to the left of the shifter there those buttons will include eco pro comfort and sport adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity and so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the paddle shifters here to the test first and let's see how quickly they are going to react for us here all right let's do this as our straightaway we're in first gear it's holding nice go <laughs> they're quick holy moly they're quick yeah, I don't know. I don't always get that with paddle shifters, especially I don't get that in SUVs, but the BMW X6, the paddle shifters are ridiculous. Now, I will say it did switch back to the automatic mode kind of just at the beginning of that uh, paddle shifter test there, but all you need to do is just hit the paddle shifters and it just goes right back to manual mode and the paddle shifters are dang quick. Like you can have some serious fun with these paddle shifters in an SUV. So that is quite a brilliant thing, but anyways, now having got that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's give back full control to the X6 here. Let's find one more straightaway. Still in Sport Plus driving mode here. And let's see how quickly we can get our new BMW X6 here up to speed. All right, in three, two, one, go. <laughs> I love that sound too. <laughs> That's fun, man. Like. I don't know if you need the M60. This thing is dang fun. Like zero to 60, what did I say, 5.2? That's an impressive number, man. This is a heck of an acceleration. And like I said, that sound was just beautiful as well. And these headrests, they're like pillows, man. When it throws your head into the back of the headrest, you could go to sleep, but you're not going to because you're having so much fun hitting the gas in the X6. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just a heck of an acceleration. That shouldn't be in an SUV, but it is. And I love it, but anyways, there is more power for 2024 and it's brilliant, but to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so as expected, you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes 
becoming standard as far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes. That comes in at pretty impressive 119 feet and it feels like that. It immediately brings you to a stop, so 100%, no issues with the braking. Again, as far as that number goes, anything in the one teens, if you guys watch my videos, I say this before, but anything in the one teens is a sports sedan number. Anything in the 120s, upper 120s is traditionally your average SUV. It even goes up as high as 139 feet, so 119 feet from 60 to zero. That's a sports sedan number that's brilliant, and you can feel that it immediately brings you to a stop here in the X6, so I, Love it. But then touching on suspension and handling, up front you're gonna get a devil wishbone type front suspension in the back, lightweight multi-link rear suspension, but an adaptive damping suspension does also come standard. And I love that. You guys know I love that if you've seen my videos before. Essentially what that is, is it monitors each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the road of perfections, giving you a smoother ride, but it also tightens up that suspension during heavy cornering, giving you better handling. So it does give you the best of both both worlds and you can tell this is a plenty smooth ride in my short little test drive here today but I think what really impressed me the most was the serene cabin in this x6 it is so freakishly quiet in here now I didn't look it up but I can imagine there's in at least an acoustic laminated front windshield and probably acoustic laminated front door glass as well because it is an extremely quiet cabin as a lot of times you will find in luxury vehicles but this one's super quiet so i am a huge fan of the lack of cabin noise coming into this one as far as steering feel goes it does adjust dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in so if you put it in that sport driving mode it is a much heavier feel to it if you take it out of that it's a much looser steering feel but one of the best things about steering the x6 overall is the 10 and 2 grips on this m sport package that we have today they are massive bmw does their steering wheels and their m cars and their m sport packages absolutely brilliant it's such a thick grip it gives you such a feeling of being in control of the x6 i absolutely love it so i think it's just that that's doing it for me but the steering feel is quite nice as well especially in that sport driving mode so huge fan of that and touching on visibility now this is one where the x5 is going to obviously have the x6 beat because of the shape of the back end of the x6 the visibility is not going to be as good as the x5 but having reviewed tons of cars with crappy visibility before, what the comment section is gonna tell you is that it's something that you get used to. And that's really for anything. If you like a car enough, you will get used to the kind of drawbacks, I guess you could say, like Camaro owners will say they don't mind the rear visibility, but it's horrendous. Or the 370Z owners, they're gonna say the same thing. Or a Toyota Super owner will say the blind spots aren't that bad, when in reality, they are the worst. So having said that, it's not as bad as any of that. It is something I'm sure you would get used to. So for me personally, I don't have any issues with the rear visibility, but it's just not gonna be as good as an X5. I'll just put it that way, but rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard. So that's gonna assist with forward visibility and a head up display is gonna come standard on the M60i. It's gonna be optional on the 40i trim that we have today. We do have that option. So that's pretty cool. So that projects your speed, speed limit and safety features up onto your windshield, of course, assisting with forward visibility, but it's gonna adjust dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in as well. So it's gonna adjust the look and the colors and all that stuff. So that's a pretty cool little thing that BMW did for the X6 and their head up displays overall actually as well so anyways that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 bmw x6 all right so here she is you guys the new 2024 bmw x6 finished in aviturin red metallic don't know if i said that right but that is the exact exterior color name that we had on this one but as always let's go ahead and start with where the x6 is made taking a look at the vin first character is the number five indicating that the new 2024 x6 is built and assembled here in the u.s but again revised styling for 2024 you got a new front bumper new front grille and new headlight design as well so up front speaking of that front grille you will find an active kidney front grille meaning it's going to open and close dependent upon the engine cooling that is needed at any given time to the sides led headlights with led daytime running lights do come standard you do get the automatic feature as well along with automatic high beams so if you have your high beams on at night that senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams and when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there and down to the bottom corners there you will find some front air curtains as well the m sport package that we have today it's actually going to give you a much more aggressive uh, styling all the way around specifically the front end especially 
Uh, so you're gonna have a little different look here because we have that M Sport package. You got the adaptive cruise control sensor all the way down to the bottom of that front bumper, of course, as well. But overall, I like the black accents. I think they look good and that pretty much rounds out the front end. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so now since we are around to the side of the X6, gloss black window surrounds do come standard. Rear privacy glass also coming standard, of course. Taking a look at the side mirrors, they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors with integrated turn signals. They will be heated and they are power folding as well. So definitely a lot going on to them. Uh, one of the cool accents though in the front fenders here, let me show you guys, I'm gonna get up a little bit closer here. It's not actually functional, but it is a little cut out there in the front fenders. There's black plastic right behind it, but it does look good. So I did like that as well. Also, another thing I really like here on the X6 is you do get body colored side skirts and fender surrounds. You don't always get that with SUVs. So did want to emphasize that a little bit. Take a look down at the wheel setup then. 20 inch alloys do come standard. However, there are plenty of 21 and 22 inch wheel designs available for the X6. And I believe that is one of the options that we have on this one yet again. And then of course, the M Sport is going to get M Sport specific wheels as well. So that is what you guys are looking at. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the side profile here. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so now since we are around to the back of this one, all the way to the top there, you will find a body colored shark fin antenna. Just below that, you kind of have this rear spoiler on the upper portion of the glass there. You do have another rear spoiler on the uh, back kind of trunk itself. It's going to be gloss black. So showing that to you guys, that looks pretty darn good. Also, of course, LED taillights do come standard across the board. You gotta love that. And just below it all here, you will find integrated dual exhaust outlets. You're gonna get some gloss black kind of finishes surrounding that since we have the M Sport package, but all of that looks so dang good. You guys know I love when BMW integrates their exhaust into the rear bumper. So many cars do not do that. I think it is the best look back there. But anyways, having said all of that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. As always here, is that exhaust clip. So now since we are around to the back of the X6, there are several different ways to go ahead and open that rear tailgate. There is a button on the key fob itself, a button on the tailgate, of course, and there is a button on the driver's door then as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 27.4 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 40-20-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down very flat, bumping that up to 59.6 cubic feet then. There is some Velar carpeting back there. I loved that. Cargo lighting back there. LED cargo lighting. There's a, one of the most high quality cargo covers I think I've ever seen. It's probably the most high quality cargo cover I've ever seen. It folds very nicely up and it's just, it has a lot of weight to it. It's very, very nice. There's a 12 volt power outlet back there. There is uh, tie down anchors, there's grocery bag hooks. Then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you are going to find a spare tire, which I love seeing as opposed to the fix a flat. But then make your way up to the rear legroom that comes in at 35.7 inches. For reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard. Rear ventilation also coming standard. Got some U USB charging ports back there. If you wanted rear window sunshades, they are available for $250. We don't have them with us here today, but at least they are available. I like that. And then heated rear seats go for $500. We do have them with us here today. So you get to spoil the rear passengers a little bit. So I definitely love that. But then make our way up to the front seats, power adjustable front seats with four-way power lumbar. You come standard. Memory settings, of course, two-way power side bolsters. Leather seating coming standard. Merino leather goes for $1,950 if you wanted that. Heated front seats along with the heated front armrest and steering wheel goes for $350 if you wanted that. Massaging seats for $1,000. But overall, first thing I noticed, some of the most comfortable seats in existence for sure. And that includes the headrest that I mentioned to you guys. Everything is so soft, you just sink into them incredibly comfortable seats like definitely in my top three seats out of the last 900 drives i've done they are so comfortable but 
Anyways, then making our way to the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping. It is power adjustable. It is leather wrapped. And again, since we have the M Sport, we got the M logo at the very bottom with the thickest 10 and 2 grips in existence. Then making our way to the startup, let me start by showing you guys the key. Again, this is an M Sport specific key. So you got the colors there. You got the unlock on the side of the key along with the button to pop the rear tailgate. On the front of the key, you got the lock button. And if you press it three times, you got the remote start as well, which is pretty cool. But it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my phone to the brake and press that silver engine start button located just to the left of the shift buttons there and so once started up the gauges are a 12.3 inch curved digital gauge cluster it's tied together with the infotainment screen we'll get to that in a second but the gauges do adjust dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in so if i put it in sport it gives you a bunch of red hues if i put it in uh eco pro it gives me kind of like the cyan and blue colors and then comfort is going to give you more of a desert colors i guess you could say i think it looks pretty darn good but again that all just the uh, head-up display as well the complete look the graphics even change for the head-up display when you change drive mode but anyways back to the gauges it gives you how many miles you have left until you hit empty there's speed limit recognition uh outside temperature pretty much everything you could possibly want up there but now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality if you wanted an alcantara headliner that goes for 650 dollars we don't have that but panoramic moonroof does come standard on the x6 i love of that universal garage door opener for up to three different garage doors that is there as well wireless phone charger coming standard you do get multi-color ambient lighting coming standard gotta love that multi-zone climate control as well and so just in front of the shifter though you will get a little bit of rubberized storage you got that wireless phone charger like i said couple cup holders everything is finished in like this matte wood trim everywhere it's very unique you can tell it's authentic real wood uh it's just behind the infotainment screen here it's on the doors and surrounding all the shifter and all those buttons there then within the center armrest it's a decent amount of space in there you do have a usb charging port in there as well but of course everything is finished absolutely amazing because this is bmw after all and i like these big grip handles on the front doors here as well so that was pretty cool the elbow rest when i was actually driving were very nice as well so everything is very very soft and there's a cool design I almost like this carbon fiber look surrounding the air vents here and uh that continues just above the passenger side glove box it got some x6 kind of lettering as well so that is a pretty cool design there too. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen here. 14.9 inch curved color touchscreen display. So everything's kind of curved, kind of tilted towards the driver like a Nissan GTR or something like that. But Bluetooth and audio streaming, of course, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, factory navigation system does come standard. Can check out your ambient lighting settings within that infotainment screen. You can check out your driving statistics up there. And of course your radio information. And so when it comes to the sound systems, there's a couple of them. 10 speaker hi-fi sound system with 205 watts comes standard however there is an optional Harman Kardon surround sound system that we have with us here today that goes for $875 so having said that I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one all right that is a brilliant sound system for the x6 ton of bass plenty of clarity that's a brilliant sound system for 875 dollars i personally would probably do that because that is definitely brilliant i kind of had a little trouble finding the volume knob and all of a sudden there it is right in front of me there just next to the uh the hazard lights um just kind of in front of the cup holders there so anyways that's there too so that's nice but anyways we do also have gesture control so to turn this one up i just simply move my finger in clockwise and counterclockwise motion here and uh that's pretty cool. I love that feature. So I do love that feature. I always play around with that on BMWs whenever it is available. I really wish every car had that because it is really, really cool. But anyways, last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the XX in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. Extremely high definition, by the way, as well. You will get a surround view monitor with the parking assistance package. It goes for $800. That actually gives you a surround view monitor with the color of the car on the right side there. So typically you just find like a stock image of the vehicle with the surround view monitor. But this one actually looks like the actual X6 itself with the exact color of the X6 too. So 
that's pretty cool. It's all about the attention to detail. But as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so front side side curtain airbags do come standard. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors to tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard, front and rear parking sensors, frontal collision warning, active blind spot detection, lane departure warning, speed limit recognition, and a parking assistant as well. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the X6, I love the look of this thing. I definitely think it looks looks unique. It looks like nothing else on the road, really. So I personally love the style. This thing is plenty quick as well. Brilliantly quick. Definitely going to put a smile on your face. A couple other things here. Extremely comfortable seats, including the headrest. They're like pillows. So seat comfort was 100% on point. Incredible sound system. Like I just said to you guys, it's one of the better sound systems that I've heard in quite a while. I think the constructive criticism that I can have for this one is, as Mercedes-Benz does as well, there are so many options for this. So that starting price can easily go ten dollars to $20,000 more than the starting price when you get through with all of it. So I'm just saying that, but I do like that it starts lower because that gives people a little bit lower of an entry into the X6, but again, so many options but let me know what you guys think of the x6 in the comment section below that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before i get to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe with the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews because that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold